Welcome to Couch Potato. I'm the Couch Potato, and I have the lovely sweet potato here with me today. And we're going to be bringing to you the February edition of Netflix, Netflix Monthly. Monthly. Netflix Monthly is where we will be letting you know what's coming new to Netflix each month. And we also binge watch a Netflix original series or movie every month with you. Before we get started, leave us a like. Let us know that you like what we're doing. Although February is our shortest month, Netflix isn't skipping on the releases that they're giving us. We're getting tons of TV and movie this month. So here are the ones that we thought that you should take a look at. First, we're going to start with Disney slash Pixar Finding Dory. Yep, I, I did say that, Finding Dory. It's the sequel to the uh, the one we all love the most. Come on now, Finding Nemo. It's uh, starring Ellen DeGeneres, bringing back most of the old cast. And it's won a lot of awards and even been called one of the greatest animated features of all time. Also, Netflix is bringing Magic Mike. That's right, that's the stripper movie. Well, the male stripper movie. That's starring Channing Tatum. Thank me later, ladies. Thank me in the comments. Next, we have the Blair Witch Project, the originator of the found footage films. All right, after that, we have the five heartbeats. So, if you guys enjoyed the new new edition biopic that came out on BET um, just recently, you will enjoy the five heartbeats. So, it is a fictional tale of singing groups from the 50s and 60s. But it's about the group called the Five Heartbeats, and <laughs> but it's about like groups from the most higher. That's what it's loosely based on. So it's a good one. Oh yeah, oh is it good? It's really good. Oh yeah. Next we have the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Come on, you gotta watch this one. I'm gonna give you one name that's gonna convince you, Liam Neeson. I will find you. Kicks ass in every movie that he's been in so far. He's gonna kick ass as a lion. So yeah, you definitely want to see that one. Stuff Can you tell people what the wardrobe is. Um, it's like a closet, technically. Closet dresser of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, that's an old timey word. So the next movie is Paris is Burning. So if you are a RuPaul's Drag Race fan like I am, then you would have heard about this movie pretty much on every season. So Paris is Burning, <laughs> Paris is Burning is a documentary and it was shot in the mid to late 80s and it was released in 1990 and it's about drag balls in New York City at the time and it's pretty much a big deal. So what else is cool about it is in 2016 it was selected to be preserved by the United States Film Registry to be um, by the Library of Congress to be preserved for being culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant to, I guess, our culture and everybody's culture. And so I'm really excited to see it. I've never seen it. I was actually born in 1990, so <laughs> if that gives away my age, whatever. But like, I've never been able to find this film, but I've been very interested due to watching the culture, of course. So. The next movie is one of my favorite comedies, Superman. It stars Michael Sarah, Jonah Hill, Bill Hader, Seth Rogen, and it's written by Seth Rogen. And it's a story that kind of is a little bit about his life. All the great nerds in here. Right. And this is your introduction into uh, being a lover of Seth Rogen movies. So, oh, don't watch that with your kids either. It's rated R. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's very, it's very vulgar, so. Well, I guess going into the things that you shouldn't watch with your kids or your kids should not watch, um, American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Okay, so this oh. came out in 2016. It was a TV series of sorts. Um, I mean, it was about eight episodes, I want to say. Yeah, I don't remember. Some more about eight episodes, like an hour long. When I tell you guys that we heard this story over and over, literally it's about the O.J. Simpson murder trial um, back in like 1992, I want to say. He was indicted for murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. One of the most racially divisive stories yeah. ever. The last that you cannot watch with your kids is, of course, another Seth Rogen movie, Sausage Party. 
Now, this one is a animated story. Yes. It is an animated story, but it's not for children. No. So don't let your kids trick you into watching that one, okay? Don't. It's kind of like Family Guy on steroids. It is a good story. It has a lot of religious undertones in it. Just um, stick around to the end. Oh, my God. Yeah, stay around for the end. It's like one of the best endings I've ever seen in my life. And the Netflix original that we're going to binge watch for the month of February is... <laughs> Imperial Dreams! Y'all don't know what that is. Tell them about it, Couch Potato. This is actually a Netflix movie. It stars John Boyega from Star Wars Force Awakens. That's my boy. A.K.A. Finn. Oh, yeah. For those of you don't know it. Oh, right. It also, it stars Kiki Palmer from Scream Queens. You know the Kiki. And also, Ro Timmy, a.k.a. Dre from Power. Yep. Alright, so, this movie premiered at the 2014 Sundance Film Festival, and it actually won the Audience Award, which is like a total big deal. And it has an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, and you know that you can't get them to like you. So, since they like this movie, it's probably good. I hope it is good. I hope so. I'm pretty I sure. It, I think it is. I mean, I like, it's a good cast. I like celebrities. Kiki Palmer don't get on my nerves either. People don't like her that much, but that's besides the point. She's a good actress. That's the gag. So, this movie premieres on Netflix on February 3rd, which is this Friday coming, actually. So, before the month is out, we will have a spoiler review for you. Like and subscribe down below. Also, leave us a choice of what we should also watch on Netflix down below. I'm the Couch Potato. And I'm Sweet Potato. We'll be checking in with you guys next month.